a 0.6 kilogram block of ice is uh, sliding by you on a very slippery floor. with velocity v. As it goes by, <clears throat> we give it a kick. Um, so we give it some, uh, and give it some f delta t. Um, and our delta t is uh, 0. Point 0, 0, 002 seconds and this causes the block to travel now with some velocity uh, v prime which um, is 26 degrees from its original direction which was completely um, horizontal uh, or at least to the right. Um, okay, so now it wants to know um, what is the unit vector p hat. Uh, sorry, what is p hat? Um, or the unit vector in the direction of the momentum. Uh, or at least it wants to know several things, but that's the first thing. So our p hat, remember, is uh, p over the magnitude p. Uh, but it's also a unit vector in the direction of, of travel. So it'll be um, p squared should equal, um, or the square root of p squared should equal 1. Um, meaning we don't actually need it to be defined this way. We can also define it just by our directionality. So if we look, um, it's a 26 degree triangle. Um, we don't know the velocity um, that it's traveling with afterward, but we do know that um, well, we do know it's a 26 degree angle, so that means that um, our P here is our mass times our Vx plus our mass times our Vy, and that's x hat, y hat. Um, we know that... Um, this here is the cosine of 26 degrees. This is the sine of 26 degrees. And in fact, we know that um, cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals one, which satisfies our P condition here, right? So. That means that our p hat vector can really just be expressed as cosine of 26 degrees x hat plus sine of 26 degrees y hat. So that, um, that gives us our directionality. Um, and it's unitless, and, and this is at this. This works perfectly fine here. So our p hat then is just 0 0.8988 x hat plus 0 0.4384 uh, y hat. Um, oh, right, I guess just to stay in line with the question in retrospect, I forgot about this until right now. Um, the question calls this uh, z hat. So I'm going to call it Z hat. So I'm just going to change a few of these around just so that later on it asks for the Z component. 
I don't, uh, doesn't look too funny. So I'm just gonna do that. There we go. Okay, so there's our, our p hat vector. Um, and so it asks now, uh, what is px? So um, we haven't done anything in the x direction, so px is actually unchanged. So it's going to be the mass of the block times the, the x velocity of the block. And as we haven't changed that with our kick, it'll be just 0.6 kilograms times the 3.5 meters per second, which comes out to be... Um, Did I not? No, I didn't. Okay. That's kind of funny, but okay. Um, so it'll be the, it'll be 2.1 uh, kilograms meters per second. Okay. So then, um, <clears throat> And now wants the z component of our momentum, which we should be able to get with our unit vectors and a few of the definitions we've given above. So our, our p hat, we just saw for, and we said that it was the vector over the magnitude. Um, <clears throat> and so then our uh, p vector is our p hat times our magnitude. Um, and so then, and our p vector is p x x hat plus p z z hat. And so then we can solve for our p x here is going to be, well, it's the 2.1 kilograms meters per second we just saw for, and that's going to be our unit vector in the x direction, which we just solved for as 0.8988 times our magnitude. So then our magnitude is uh, 2.1 kilograms meters per second over 0 0.8988 which is um, 2.336 kilograms meters per second. Now our, our Z component is going to be um, the z component of our unit vector, which is 0 0.4384 times our magnitude that we just solved for. Which comes out to be um, Uh, 1.02 4 kilograms meters per second okay um, so then just checking here with this um, so we found our Z component and then it wants to know the magnitude of the average force we applied to the block so if that's the z component of our momentum um, after the kick, um, so we know that our impulse is delta p is equal to f delta t, and um, our p initially was just our vx, and our p afterward, or sorry, our mvx, our p afterwards was mvx plus mvz or this is just our px and this is just our px plus our pz 
can, let's give them some vector quantities. So our delta P then is just um, Px x hat plus Pz z hat minus Px x hat which just comes out to be pz z hat as the the x here is will cancel and so then that equals our f delta t and so then our f is just pz over delta t which is our 1.024 kilograms meters per second over our delta t, which was given as 0 0.002 seconds. And so then this comes out to be um, divided by 0 0.002, 512.15 newtons. And so then there is, there's the, the force that we applied to the ice block during that kick. Uh, if we check the solution here, there is no solution. So um, I'm just going to say it's incomplete.